Journey, a blog and YouTube channel where I share simple living inspiration. If you haven't already, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below after this video letting me know what you think. Today we are going to be talking about creating a spring mantle. I have a pretty big mantle here in my living room and it has this huge um, mirror on top. I got it from Target. My dream mirror is the Anthropology mirror, but it's a wee bit out of my price range. So I have been using this farmhouse inspired ma uh, mirror from Target for quite a while now. And maybe someday I can upgrade it and get something a little more European, which is what I would like. But for now, it's serving the purpose. The mirror is flanked by two candle holders from World Market. I've had them for several years. I get asked about them all the time and I love them so much. They are from World Market. And this year, whenever I was thinking about what I wanted to do for my spring mantle, I wanted something that was simple, something that could transition outdoors. So I wanted something where I could decorate in here and then if I wanted to, I could use it on my patio as the summer season came about and things warmed up. So I decided that I was going to plant some herbs in some really pretty terracotta pots, some new ones, some older pots, some uh, terracotta pots that were a bit more orange, some that were more gray. So I wanted to mix it up and make it a bit eclectic as far as the terracotta went. And I was gonna put different herbs that I was gonna use throughout the summer. Um, and then once the weather warmed up outside, I could easily transition it out to a little herb garden outside, which has been my dream for like ever. Now, I'm also going to take you on a little thrifting tour with me later in the video, so make sure that you stay tuned. Um, I have been asking for an herb planter, like a patio herb planter, where I can put all my herbs in there and the bunnies and the animals can't get to it. But that didn't happen this year. Um, it was on the list and then lumber is just so expensive, you guys, and I didn't want to spend that much on um, a raised herb planter. So anyway, we will push that back to another year, but I did run to the antique stores to look for wrought iron planter, like patio planter that I could put my terracotta pots on. And I ended up finding this cute little um, this cute little wooden bench. It said that it was a flower bench. I don't know what that means exactly, but it was cute. It was the right size. Um, our patio is not huge and our kids ride their bikes and scooters on it, so I didn't want anything that was going to take up a lot of room. Our windows are also pretty close to the ground, so I didn't want anything that was super high that was going to um, interfere with us looking out the windows this summer. So it ended up being a perfect little setup and I'm excited to start my first herb garden this year. It's small, but I'm really excited. I have been putting it off and putting it off because there's always been something more important and this year is the year and I'm just really happy I get to share that with you. So let's get started. First things first, let's plant our herbs in our terracotta pots.
now that we planted our herbs and we styled the spring mantle, it is time to move the herbs outside to the patio so that they can get the spring breeze and get some sunshine. But first, like I said, we can't make our own planter. We could, but it's just so expensive to make um, anything with lumber right now. So I am gonna go thrifting and see what I can find. I thought I would take you along with me so that you can kind of see what the Midwest has to offer. This is just one um, thrift or antique store that we have. There's a little section that's outside that has a bunch of, you know, rusted stuff. <laughs> um, and sometimes you can really find some fun treasures there. And then inside has a more curated selection of antiques. So. It's just whatever you're looking for that day. The first place we're gonna go is in the outside section where there are lots of rusty treasures. There are baskets, planters, lots of ladders and rocks and just little treasures. You kind of have to sift through it all to find what you're looking for. I didn't find anything out here this time. Nothing really fit the bill, so I am gonna head on inside and see what they have. contemplated this um, vintage three-tier shelf. I thought I could easily paint it and maybe distress it a little bit and put it outside, but in the end, I passed this one up. I found this sweet little barn wood table that I thought was darling and it was rustic and would have been perfect for layering herbs on top but it was a little bit wide and it didn't have the shelf on the bottom that I was looking for, so I kept peeking at the other booth. This table with a porcelain top was something that I had pinned a long time ago. Obviously not this exact one, but one very, very similar. I loved the little drawer. I loved the porcelain top because it'd be easy to wipe down, but they were asking more, like way more than what I was wanting to spend on something that is gonna be sitting outside and getting weathered. In the end, I found this simple little garden bench. It isn't exactly the color I was looking for. The wood tone is a bit yellow, but I figured I could probably strip it down and sand it a little bit and either paint the whole thing with some sort of chalk paint or I could allow it to bleach in the sun naturally and then seal it so that it wouldn't be damaged by the weather. But the actual gardening bench itself is exactly what I was looking for. It's small, it had two little um, shelves or tiers to it, and it was a good start for my first herb garden. Let me show you what the final herb garden looks like. I hope that it will love it outside and flourish, and the plants are still pretty small, but it is only April, so I'm hoping that when the hot, hot, weather comes normally about the end of May, beginning of June, that these plants will thrive and we will have lots of delicious herbs to eat in our summer meals. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope you had fun. I hope that you will come back next week for my next video. And like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. Give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. We'll see you next time.